600 million people watched Neil Armstrong take those famous first steps on the moon. That's one small step for man. But after the Apollo 11 astronauts returned to Earth, public interest in later Apollo missions began to fade. Oh, yeah, we've had a problem. But the people who continued to tune in were treated to some pretty special moments. Astronauts took advantage of their unique surroundings to have a bit of fun. During the Apollo 17 mission, Eugene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt sang their own rendition of The Fountain in the Park. I was strolling on the moon one day In a merry, merry month of December May, May The classic jumping photo. It may have been attempted at the last wedding you attended. Come on out here and give me a salute. Well, during the Apollo 16 mission, astronaut Charlie Duke captured John Young in midair while saluting to the flag. OK, here we go, a big one. Off the ground, one. There we go. It's since gone down as one of the most famous Apollo photos ever taken. When they weren't taking epic pictures, Duke and Young got to drive around in a lunar rover. The electric buggies were used on the last Apollo missions, 15, 16 and 17, and provided astronauts a fast way to cover large distances, helping them make more scientific discoveries than they could on foot. Or just to do a bit of joyriding. I thought the ride was real sporty. It bounced a lot. Sometimes both front wheels were off the surface. The back end is like driving on ice and breaking loose uh, occasionally, but it was a lot of fun. Back in the 16th century, Galileo taught his students that objects fall at the same rate regardless of their size or mass. That is, if they're not restricted by any resistance from the air. Well, in my left hand, I have a, a feather. In my right hand, a hammer. Well, since the moon has virtually no air to breathe, Apollo 15 commander David Scott decided to test this experiment by dropping a feather and a hammer from the same height. Lo and behold, they did in fact hit the ground at the same time. How about that? And just for a little fun, Alan Shepard brought the head of a six iron and a couple of golf balls aboard Apollo 14. The head was modified so he could attach it to an instrument that collected rock samples. It should have gone probably on the Earth, maybe 30, 35 yards. But that little rascal went over 200 yards with one hand shot like that. And it was in the air. The time of flight was almost 35 seconds. These lighter moments punctuated the main mission of scientific exploration. But perhaps the most enduring images are the ones when the astronauts actually looked back at Earth. This one taken on Apollo 17, the last time man was on the moon. It's known simply as the Blue Marble.